Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. I <laughs> just got tangled up completely and totally by this guy. He's got my selfie stick and my hands both wrapped up, so we will see how this goes. I just wanted to do a quick video in honor of the new year. Uh, I've always been dubious of New Year's resolutions. I just, I don't know if they're that useful. Like, if there's something you want to do, you shouldn't be like, well, it's not the new year, I better wait. That, I just, I don't understand that. I don't know. Anyways, without further ado, here are five Reptile Barn New Year's resolutions. <laughs> so clearly, uh, I do like goals. I love goals. I just don't know if New Year's resolutions as a tradition is really that helpful. But regardless, I have some goals I want to share with you guys for 2022, okay? I don't know if you can see all that. Uh, first one is regarding YouTube, okay? <sighs> Starting this week, I guess, or next week or whenever, I want to try and post two videos a week, okay? Um, I really, really want to try that. I think I can do it. We've had pretty good solid stretches before. Um, and you guys may not know this, it's pretty sad, honestly. We have a lot of videos that I have filmed, or that Liz has filmed even, uh, that we never put up. Uh, <laughs> don't ask me why. We take the time to, to film something we're doing, to share something, and then we don't actually post it. So we're just, um, my, my goal here is really consistency, right? Um, I think, I at least, hope that our content is pretty good. Um, sorry, I, as I told you at the beginning, I'm being, uh, ambushed by a snake here. Let me get him back on one arm. I like our content. I like our style of, of vlogging and all that. I just don't think we're very consistent. Um, so that's goal number one. Goal number two involves the expo. Ugh. We saw huge growth between expo number one in 2019, which was spectacular by the way, and expo number two. Expo number two, we had about 1,500 people come. Uh, we had a lot more vendors. We had food vendors for the first time, uh, a much larger venue. It was a lot of growth. And I want to do that again, basically. I want to grow that much again. I want to get up to at least 2,000 people, which means we're gonna to have to spend a little more time and maybe even money advertising for the expo here locally. Um, I'd like to get even more vendors. We'll probably use the same venue again because we loved it. Um, but uh, yeah, I want to grow the expo to an even wider audience of animal loving people. So uh, that is goal number two. Goal number three, <sighs> share with you here. DRMB, you know what that stands for? That is Big Dan here, who is just not a very cooperative vlogging partner, I am learning. Um, he is a Dominican Red Mountain Boa, Chilobothrus striatus, okay? Um, I love these animals. I absolutely love them. Let me see if I can get him in the shot at all. He's deep in shed. I thought that might help him to want to hold still a little bit more, but not at all. He is all over the place. <laughs> I'm having a huge amount of trouble. I'm sorry, guys. The quality of this video might be a little bit uh, substandard. Not that I'm ever very good as a videographer, but uh, we want to breed Dominican Red Mountain Boas, right? Or as I prefer to call them, Hispaniolan Boas. I want to breed them, okay? So badly. The day that little Anne has babies, or any Dominican Red Mountain Boa that I get in the future has babies, I'm going to cry like a child. I just, I am so excited. And, and it's not because they're going to be some huge financial boon for our business. They're two, three hundred dollars each, maybe four hundred dollars when, you know, in the off season when they're more difficult to get. Um, I just, I love them and I want to produce them and they would be our first live bearer species. I just, for so many reasons, 
this is the year for us. And, and the reason I'm extra excited, um, those of you who've followed us, you know, pretty consistently know, we made a change this past year in how we house them. We basically keep them together full time. Now, we do not do that with very many of our animals, let me tell you that. But uh, we heard from some people who've kept them for a very long time and had a lot of success breeding them. And they just said they seem to breed better if you keep them together. So we did it, got a ton of breeding activity. And about two months ago, our female started to look pretty fat and swollen, but she also went off of food. So I'm so hopeful. She's actually deep in shed right now as well. It's not just Dan here. Um, so that's goal number three. Goal number four, tree monitors. I don't know if you guys can see that, if it's backwards, forwards, I don't even know. I'm just trying to film a video with a snake crawling absolutely all over me. Um, <laughs> tree monitors. We have had... I don't even know what to call it. We have had quite the time with tree monitors, right? We have black tree monitors and blue tree monitors currently. Currently. Um, we have tried breeding a, uh, several times. We have a couple of black tree monitor pairs together right now. Um, we just haven't had much luck, okay? We've had copulations, a lot of copulations. One clutch ever. One of those eggs from that one clutch hatched and it drowned. It was... One of the most tragic, I, I, anyway, this is a positive video, not a negative video, but suffice it to say, we've not had a lot of luck, but we have two adult pairs of tree monitors, okay? They're both black tree monitors. I want to figure out what it takes. I want to zone in enough that my pairs are comfortable breeding. Now, they're both wild caught pairs, which are notoriously more difficult than captive bred, to get to breed, okay? So I'm not holding my breath on that one. I'm not quite as confident as I am on the, the boas here, but uh, be that as it may, that's goal number four. And goal number five, we want to upgrade our feeders. Um, right now they are in plastic sheds that are heated um, we have rabbits, quail, and mice out there. We've done gerbils in the past, might do them again. I like them. Um, we need a bigger setup. We need a more, I don't even know what to call it. Uh, a setup that enables us to do our work more efficiently. So we're going to be making a lot of renovations. We already are. I shared a post on Instagram and Facebook with a picture of our, our disaster area inside here. We're gonna make the same disaster area outside with our feeders. So we're gonna have a much larger wooden shed or, or some sort of outbuilding uh, with electric. It'll be heated, of course, and we're gonna put all our feeders into the same structure. It'll be big enough for all of them. Um, it's just gonna be really nice to have everything centralized and big enough for some storage. You know, right now, poor Caleb who works on all the my stuff, he, he has to climb over things, clamber over things. It's hard for him to work in there. It's very small and cramped. So this summer, one of my, my final goal here, goal number five, is to really redo our whole system for our feeders, for our business. And that will also hopefully allow us to sell more. We used to sell a lot of mice. As our collection has grown, we've pretty much cut back to almost nothing. Uh, because we don't have enough, you know, we have to use them all for our collection. Even though most of our collections on rats, as the size of the collection grows, the ones that are still on mice or the babies we hatch or whatnot, uh, it demands a huge volume of mice still and pretty much everything we produce now goes to our own collection. So I'd love to be able to provide feeders for the community again. Um, some of the local pet stores are charging, believe this or not, those of you who are not in Alaska, $8 per mouse, not rat, mouse, okay? Maybe some of you are like, oh yeah, that's been here too. I don't know, but that's crazy. So we want, to, oh, he grabbed onto something again. You are not a camera kind of guy, are ya? He's a cruiser, he's an explorer. He doesn't have time for this video stuff. Anyway, so final goal, clean up the, the feeder area, expand it to get to the point where we are able to provide feeders for the community again 
Um, and that is all. So let me know what you think of my 2020 goals. Oh, he's put a... <laughs> Man, he squeezes hard for a little snake. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go here uh, before I get disrupted yet again. Come on, Big Dan. He's trying to open a door. Uh, but uh, I hope that this was enjoyable at the very least. And uh, wish me luck getting all of my goals uh, <laughs> completed this year. There's a lot more goals. These are just kind of some, some that I'm sharing right now. So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, until next time, we're the Reptile Barn. Oh, goodness.